This is an arthroscopic surgical technique developed for the treatment of meniscal extrusion observed in case of early osteoarthritis. After conventional anteromedial and anterolateral arthroscopic portals, a 10 mm passport cannula is used to facilitate the procedure. The distance between the anterior and posterior meniscal root insertion is measured with an arthroscopic measurement probe introduced through the anteromedial medial portal. Using a meniscal hook marking hook, 6 mm flip cutter is drilled through the anterolateral cortex of the tibia to 1 cm anterior to the posterior attachment of the medial meniscus. A 6 mm tunnel is then created. A suture lasso with nitinol passing wire is passed through the tibial tunnel. The passing wire is recovered with mini suture retriever through the anteromedial portal. A fiber wire number two creates a loop as a shuttle suture and is passed down the tibial tunnel. The fiber wire loop is maintained out at the anteromedial portal while the, the two extremities passes through the tibia. Knee scorpion is used to tie the posterior horn of the medial meniscus at 2 cm medially to the insertion and a 1.3 shooter tape is passed through the meniscus. A second stitch is made 1 cm medially to the first one and another 1.3 suture tape is passed through the meniscus. The suture tapes are then passed through the tibial tunnel. Applying tension to the tapes, anteriorization of the posterior horn of the meniscus is evaluated. Articular space opening can be observed. An anterior tunnel is performed with the same technique as the posterior tunnel. The tunnel is drilled started from the anteromedial cortex of the tibia. The meniscal root mark and hook is used to guide the 6 mm tunnel made with the flip cutter. The exit point in the articular surface of the tibia is located 1 cm posteriorly to the meniscal anterior horn attachment. A suture lasso with nitinol passing wire is passed through the tibial tunnel. The passing wire is recovered with mini suture retriever through the anteromedial portal. A fiber wire number two creates a loop shuttle suture and passes it down the tibial tunnel. The fiber wire loop is maintained out at the anteromedial portal while the two extremity, extremities pass it through the tibial. A 45 degrees curved right quick pass lasso is used to punch the anterior horn of the meniscus at 2 cm medially to the anterior attachment. And a fiber wire number 2 is used to guide the passage of the 1.3 suture tape through the meniscus and the tibial tunnel. The suture tape is then passed through the tibial tunnel. Tensioning the anterior and posterior tapes, we can notice meniscal tensioning and joint space opening. The mid portion of the extruded meniscus moves to its original place. Tibial fixation is finally performed with two 11 concave button 11 mm with 4 mm collar after applying the final and desired meniscal tension.